All right, for those people that were online, I was not sharing my screen, so I'm going to share my screen so that you guys can see where we are at. Uh, I'm under the classwork tab of our eighth grade science class. Under the eighth grade class, under the classwork tab, right at the very top is a digital lab notebook. Open that assignment up and then click on your digital lab notebook. Um, you should see something that looks similar to this. What I would like for you to do is on the very first page, please click on the first line where it says click to add title. I want you to type your first and last name in on that top line. Okay, and then down below the next box, I would like for you to put second block because that's the hour we have science. I've included some stickers over here on the side. You can click on these stickers, you can drag and you can drop them, you can put them on your lab notebook. Maybe you're going through these stickers that I've uh, created and you're sitting there and you're going, I don't really like any of those stickers. Um, so maybe you want to add your own stickers. So in order to do so, you're going to go up here to insert and then go down to image and then click on search the web or maybe you even have a picture inside of your um, photos or inside of your drive that you would like to add. Um, I'm going to just simply search the web and if I want, I don't know, uh, I graduated from CMU so uh, I'm going to put Central Michigan University. Here's the, here's the key to a good sticker though. Put in the term either transparent or no background. And what that will do is that will give you images where there's no background. So for Central Michigan University, that didn't work out real well, but I can click and I can drag and I can pull that image on my lab notebook. And then I want to resize it to get it to fit. So there I've got my CMU sticker. What that no background or transparent does is it brings up an image that doesn't have the background as being white. So if I had a background on here, what would happen is I would get kind of a white color around the edges here. And it would just look like a white box with a CMU sticker on top of it. The no background minimizes that or gets rid of that. You don't have to do a sti the stickers if you don't want. But I thought it was maybe a fun way to dress it up if you wanted to. All right, so using your digital science notebook, we've just done the notebook cover. We're gonna click the text boxes, change the text. Um, you're gonna add your first and last name as well as the class period down below. We've already done that. Uh, when you're done, you're gonna click on the tab that says table of contents. Uh, in, in, the, um, in the slides, it falls at slide number two. So at this time, click on the table of contents. If you give me a minute, Jaden, I'll come back and I'll take a peek at it, okay? Is anybody else having an issue where it's not letting you type? Okay. Um, for the table of contents, the table of contents is meant for you to organize all of the different pages or the other materials that are found in your lab notebook. Each entry should have a date. 
the title of each assignment and or entry, and then also a slide number. Over here on the right-hand side is an example of that. So what I would like for you to do is I would like for you on the very top box, you do not have to enter a slide number, but I would like you to put 9-1, September 1st, which was our first day of school. Then type in first day of school and change the text size to make sure that it fits night and neat, neat on your table of contents. Take a minute to do that. Um, are you logged into your school account right now? Click on that day. <laughs> So you should right now have a table of contents, except for Jaden. Jaden's having some technical issues we're going to get ironed out here in a minute. You should have, under the date part, you should have 9-1, and then I'm going to tab over, and I put on 9-1, first day of school. Hey, it kind of fits, but maybe I don't really like how it fits. So I might highlight this and then click the minus button and shrink it down a little bit. All right, then go to the next one down. The first one is first day of school, 9-1, first day of school. The next one down, 
you are going to add a number of topics. The topics I sent out in the stream yesterday, please be sure to have the following added to your table of contents in your new digital notebook. Also be sure to add hyperlinks to these documents. One, you have to have the first day of school you just did. You need to add the writing to learn activity. You need to add the accident story and you need to add the bottle with liquids model that you made. Okay, so for now, all I want you to do is put the date of each of those activities. I think 9-3 was a writing to learn activity. So I put 9-3, writing to learn. And then I think it was 9-8 was our um, bottle model. Um, our accident story was probably like 9-9. Nine, nine. So we're going to put 9-9 nine, nine on there in the next one. And this was the accident story. Um, while all of you are sitting here for a moment, I am going to see what I can do about getting Jaden's um, yeah, getting Jaden all taken care of. So while you're adding all of these things, I'm going to see if I can get Jaden fixed. You guys continue adding those materials. I'm going to freeze my screen so that you can see it. Those of you that are online, I just went off of my screen. Uh, I will come back to it here in just a moment. <laughs> Jaden, is it showing me being on your lab notebook right now? Um, it just showed me that you were there and then it showed you disappear. Did you jump off of it again? Okay, it's showing. I can see you on it, Jaden. Can you see what I just did? Yeah. Okay. But it won't let me type like in the search bar either. Okay. I might need to do something. I'm 
All right, I just added you as an editor on it as well. That should fix the editing issue. All right, all the rest of us, I'm gonna share my screen again. And we are going to move on with creating hyperlinks. All right. The next thing that we need to do is we need to keep this table of contents organized so we can easily get to our materials. Any of your assignments that you have completed, that I have assigned to you, they are found on your classroom page. So if I'm under my eighth grade science class, under the classwork, if I click on an assignment, I should see the work that I have done. So I can see all of your work. So if I click on this writing to learn activity, I can go into each one of those materials. The accident story was the same thing. So I'm gonna go into the 50 accident stories that I had turned in. And I'm gonna to go to a student from the other class. I'm gonna click on it. And you'll see I am now on the document that they have finished, okay? What I want to do is I want to um, click on the link, okay? So I want a link to this activity. I'm gonna open up Anthony's in a full screen. I'm gonna go up here to the share button. As soon as it comes on. And I'm going to copy the link. No, it's just a pause. My screen's a little froze right now, too. Um, Sahara, why don't you shut your video off for a little bit and see if that helps? So I'm going to copy the link. I'm then gonna go back to my digital lab notebook. And this was the accident story. I'm gonna highlight accident story. And I'm gonna push control K. If you don't feel comfortable doing uh, shortcuts, you can go insert and link and it will do the exact same thing. Control K is the same thing as insert link. Or up here at the top in the bar, right here is the insert link button. I am going to now paste that link to that accident story in my table of contents. So now when I have my table of contents in present mode, I can hover over top of this accident story. I can click on it and it will open up that document for me. What I would like for you to do is I'd like for you to find your writing to learn activity, your bottle model, and your accident story, and I want you to create a hyperlink in your table of contents for each one of those right now.
Mr. Windsor. Yes. It says it's un unable to load my file. I'm guessing you're having a slow internet connection then. Um, see if you can load one of the other files. Try to click on the share that way. It may also help for you to shut off your video. Um, shutting off the video might increase your bandwidth to the point where you're able to get to those files and link them. Did shutting off the video help any, Sahara? No. Okay. Give it a little bit of time and push refresh and see how that goes. Um, we'll, we'll work as we can and I'll be flexible with getting some stuff accomplished uh, knowing that sometimes internet is a, is a sticky thing. Aubrey Mason, are you guys doing okay with it being able to load in on your end? Okay. All right, how many of you right now are still working on hyperlinking? All right, looks like about half of you are still working on hyperlinks. I'm gonna give you until 10 o'clock. And then after 10 o'clock, I'm gonna move on with our next act, next portion of this activity. Those of you that are still working on hyperlinks, it's something you're gonna have to put a pin in and you're gonna have to work on outside of class, maybe during advisory today. That was the one that we did that was, uh, you guys wrote a paragraph and emailed it to me. Oh, so we don't have to do it. Do we have to link to it still? I would like for you to. And it might be a matter of just, um, yeah, going to the Google Classroom and seeing where you emailed it to me, or going to your email and seeing where you emailed it to me and copy it down. Mr. Jaden, has it gotten better for you or no? Yeah. Okay. Put in your words. You have one minute remaining. Try to hyperlink one of the other activities right now. This one? I just talked to her about it. I think we're okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. You're having trouble with linking? Okay. Um, I'm going to move on right now. And the next activity, while they're working on that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to help you with the link. Okay. All right, next activity. Next slide down. It kind of looks a little bit like a virtual locker. It says virtual locker. I'm going to share my screen with the online people so they can see what I'm looking at as well. All right. So you should be looking at something that looks just like this. This is what your task is. First thing you need to do is you need to put a selfie of you in the mirror. Can I do that? 
You can use your computer and take a selfie with your computer. It's got a nice little uh, camera right in front of you. If you have a picture of you that is inside of your Google Docs or your Drive or anything like that, you could pull that up. If if all else fails and you have a cellular device sitting on, in your pocket and you just want to do a real quick selfie that way and email it yourself, that would be fine as well. You're putting it on the mirror. Once you are done putting yourself in the mirror, you need to do eight of the following on this notebook. You need to choose from the following. This may include words, it may include pictures, it may include um, clip art. You are going to put your preferred name on your locker. Your best friends, maybe you've got pictures of them in your Google Drive you can drop. Your family pets, your favorite book, app, or game, your favorite movie, TV show, something you are really good at, what you do for fun, your future goals, your favorite sports team, your favorite food, your favorite candy, your favorite subject, what you like most about science, anything that you think I should know about you as a person. Again, if you are interested in pulling pictures off the internet and inserting them, you just click, uh, simply click on insert at the top, go down to image, and then you're going to search the web. Once you search the web, it will bring up a box over here on the side. You can type in any of your interest points. Maybe you really like frogs, and so you just type in frog, and I'm going to put clip art because maybe I want something that looks more like a comic. Now I can click and I can drag and I can resize the frog. And I can make it small and I can put it maybe in my locker. Maybe my frog is in my locker and maybe I'm pretending like it's alive. Why not? Okay, so, so Hera, you are going to maybe need to just wait for a while then, and we'll do what we can and we can get you some internet that is allowing for you to load this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this current time, you should not be talking to your neighbor. You should be working independently on this because talking to your neighbor is leading to distractions that are causing you to get off task and not getting things accomplished at a, at a rate in which you should be. The other thing you might want to do is at the top, you might want to have them put, you might want to put um, a, uh, a question that's like a blank and put first name last name. I found that that has helped me a lot, having a first name last name on there because there's been weird times where I'm going through the list and for whatever reason it didn't say the email address. And so then I was like, who's this? this is uh, so I started adding first and last name. So that was their first question. Yeah, first question was first name, second question was last name. They had to talk to me. I did. Please take about two minutes to finish up the one that you're putting on right now. We're going to move on. I'm going to give another piece of instruction, and then you're going to be able to come back to work on what you have not been able to finish. So two more minutes. I'm moving on. Then we're coming back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please pause with what you are working on right now. I would like for you to go to the slide that looks like this. Here are some tips for Google Slides. If you are not familiar with extensions, there are extensions that you can use in Chrome. Extensions are up here. There's a little puzzle piece. You would click on that. You go down to Manage Extensions, and you can search for them. There are a bunch of really cool extensions that are built right into the web browser. 
Um, things like screenshot and recording ones are there. There's a Google dictionary that is there. Um, there's a read and write for Google Chrome that is uh, on there as well. So there's extensions that you can use built right into your web browser. You just have to manage those extensions. Hyperlinks, we've already learned how to do a hyperlink. We're going to continue practicing with hyperlinks. Ultimately, if I push control K over anything that I'm highlighted, I can then add a link to something else I go to. Anything that has an arrow inside of here, that means you need to complete it. There is a home button on every single one of our pages up here in the upper right. If you click on that home button when you're in present mode, it will take you right back to the main page, the very first page. Anytime you see this TV icon, that means that there's a video or a presentation that you need to watch. If you see the image, the, the camera image, that means that there is a place where you need to insert a picture, video, or GIF file. Shortcuts. Using control with various other keys allows you to do a number of shortcuts. You're probably familiar with, at very least, control C and control V for copy and paste. There's a number of other ones. There's a really cool um, shortcut that I, I did not put on here, and I'm not sure why I didn't put on there. Maybe I need to add it. If you push the Alt button with the two brackets buttons, the right bracket and the left bracket, it's the button right below the plus and minus key. I'm sorry, the plus and equals key. So push Alt and the two bracket buttons at the same time. What does that do? Split your screen. So now if you are working where you need to look at one um, browser or you need to look at one page and you've got something else open that you're working off of, simply clicking this button will give you a split, split screen so that then you can see both things at the same time. So that's kind of a cool thing. I am not working on a Chromebook, so I cannot show you right now. My computer does not allow me to do that. That is special for Chromebooks. Um, I also put on this page, um, there's some links to things like Quizlet, Kahoot, Flipgrid. So if we're ever going to those places, you can always go to the References tab, which is where we're sitting right now and just click on those links. I may add another page with some of those links in the future that you'll just copy and paste into here. All right, lab equipment, drag and drop. Please go to that page. It says drag and drop the photos to the correct boxes. Then click the text boxes below the image and tell what the equipment is used for. You may use the internet for the ones that you do not know, but try as many as you can before you look them up. On the right-hand side, there's a whole bunch of different lab equipment. You're going to take and you're going to drag and drop them where they belong inside of this document. All right, please pause where you are with this right now. Again, you'll have an opportunity to come back to this. Um, please go down to the one that says practice makes perfect on, on perfect. On mine, it's, it's slide number eight. So we are gonna practice adding text box, images, links, etc. on this portion. And this will be the last thing that I'm going to instruct you on. And you can go back and you can work on any of those other slides you have not finished. You will be given the remainder of the class period to do that. As a quick reminder, um, for uh, advisory, Mr. Heiler, um, those of you that have him for advisory, has hinted that you have a running the gauntlet video to watch along with some uh, questions to answer. Those of you that are in band, you may or may not have gotten that information. 
There are salmon running the gauntlet. There's two assignments that you need to complete. There is a video that I posted as well. All right. Those do need to be completed. There is not a due date on them currently. It's more of you need to get it done. And if there's a situation where we're having trouble finding time for you to get that done, you and I need to have a conversation so that I know that, that you're, you have it in the back of your mind. Um, so first one, activity one, insert a text box. If you could be any animal for a day, what would you choose to be and why? Insert a text box with your response in the top box. Change the font to your choice. And then increase the size to make sure it fills up the whole space. So I'm going to click on the text box button at the top. I'm going to hover over top of this box. I'm going to let go. And now I can type the type of animal that I want to be. And then also include the why. Why do you want to be that type of animal? Take another 30 seconds to wrap that portion up. At the very least, you should start your sentence so then you can click on it again and continue your thought. All right, next activity. Activity number two is insert a Google image. You're gonna insert it in the first image box right here. Remember when you see the camera, that means an image needs to go. I'm gonna go insert image. I'm gonna search the web for the animal that I chose. Um, and I don't know, give me an animal that you chose. A fish, I heard somebody say. So now I've got a fish, maybe you want to be an Oscar fish. I drag and I drop a picture of the Oscar fish. It makes a really big image. I shrink that image way, 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 way down. Activity number three, I am then going to link it. So I'm going to go to maybe, uh, I don't know, YouTube. And because I chose Oscar fish, all right, um, so here's a video. Best top five Oscar fish eating. Um, I'm going to go to that video. And okay, now I've got Oscar fish that are eating things. And that one apparently was eating an entire mouse. And I'm going to click on the link and I'm going to copy that link. Now I can close my video. I'm going to hover over top of my image of the Oscar fish. Again, I'm going to push Control K or I'm going to. Uh, right click and go down to link. Guess I'm not seeing it under link. So control K, it's bringing up the link button. I'm gonna paste that link in there. Now when I click on the picture, when I'm in present mode, it will redirect me to that video that we just watched. So you're going to link that image. Activity uh, number four is going to be an insert your own image. You're going to take a selfie and you're going to put it into the second box. So right here, your selfie is going to go here. And then activity number five, you're going to take a screenshot of your all about me locker. Screenshots on Chromebooks. You have to do the following. Let's just type it in. Screenshot on Chromebook. And it's going to give me information for how to do a screenshot. To take a screenshot of the entire screen, use the control plus the show buttons key. So it's control 
um, show windows key, excuse me, show windows key. The show windows key is the one that is at the very top middle. It gives you a couple of different boxes. So control, show windows key, and it will take a screenshot for you. Um, if I remember right, if you push control alt and the show windows key, it will let you then highlight the section of the screen that you want to take a screenshot of. Is that true? You are going to take a screenshot of the locker when you finish it and you're going to drop it in there. So when you finish your locker, you're going to take a screenshot of it and you're going to put it right here, your virtual locker. All right. At the current time, I'm going to be done talking and you can continue working on all of those things that we have set up. As a reminder, please complete the salmon running the gauntlet video questions by watching the video. You are welcome to do this assignment multiple times until you get the highest score. I will take your highest score and put it in the grade book. But you need to watch the running the gauntlet video and complete the two assignments that go along with it. Okay? Questions, comments, or concerns? <laughs>